Ah, hello. Um, we are live. Surprise. Hey, hey everyone! Surprise um, live stream. <laughs> we're PAX here at PAX East, East 2019. Yeah. Um, how are we getting on? Have we? I assume we're. There yeah, we are. I'm going to jump into oh that. I'm going to put a link on Twitter. So okay, good. Know, That's a very good idea. Live streaming. Um, it's a bit of an experiment. Yes, we don't normally go live from places like this. Uh, but here we are at a live show in a hidden yeah. room around the corner. Yeah, when you say places like this, it's I don't just mean a room with a brown, no, brown we're, wall. No, we're in a, a hidden secret yeah. meeting room. Come find us, don't come find um, us. And we've had a busy day. We've had a busy couple yeah. of days, right? Yeah. We have. Hang on, I'm just... Tweet. The tweet's gone. Okay, it's good. Sent. Your tweet was sent, says Twitter. Thanks, Twitter. Oh, and Watch do let us know, there. again, completely impromptu, so we've got a, a mobile setup. Uh, so do let us know... Um, how do we sound? How, how we, we sound, look. how we look. Yeah. Uh, someone's very excited. Like, hey, oh, people wow. are there. there's some people in the chat. Hey, there's like 300 people with us. Whoa. Um, hey, everybody. Hi. So we thought we'd just cue Surprise. some uh, A some cues. Yeah, if you've got any questions yeah. about PAX East, yeah, what we're up to. Yeah, give us your cues and we'll um, aim them. Yeah, we're just, uh, you know, making the most of our time here. Mm -hmm. um, uh, people, Shannon Ford back says, how's Boston, guys? Uh, great. Bean Town. Yeah, we did the, uh, the Freedom Trail. We walked around. Uh, Luke got a map to vacation dad all over the place. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, there's I saw a, the oldest Chipotle okay, in no, America. There's, <laughs> there's an old revolutionary uh, book, book, book bookstore, which is now a Chipotle. Which yeah, is, it's um, quite funny. Yeah, it's beautiful good. building though. Yeah, yeah. it's lovely, lovely, uh, and great burritos. Yeah, everything, everything <laughs> sounds and looks good. Good, sounds great to me. Wow, good wow. job, Mike. It's it's Mike on the on if, the technical. If you can see what it looks here. like, it's real cobbled together. Yeah, we are literally in a meeting room. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah, gorilla Boston live streaming convention center. So that's cool. Uh, so yeah, where's everyone watching from? What are you up to? Or yeah. any of you at PAX yeah. watching oh, this? God. Maybe you're in a queue for something. Probably that hunting, cool. like listening, probably hunting around the corridors, listening for our voice Ooh, to try and work out exciting. where we are. Oh, that would be weird. Oh god. Okay, so what do we do this morning? We did a meet and greet. We met and greet a whole, a whole lot bunch of people. people, and it was very fun. Mm. Yeah. And everyone was very cool. Yeah. There's um, a, a gentleman who danced around to the, jump the by Van Halen. Of jump by Van Halen. Real, he real brought good. such energy. Yes. I think he brought our energy levels up yeah. as well. Yeah, we needed that. We could could we hire him as like a one man hype, entourage? Hype man. <laughs> yeah. He just follows us around with a boombox. Call of Sidian says how much tasty Boston food have you had? We had <gasps> we had lobster rolls for lunch. Well, they were amazing. I'm so glad you asked. This morning excited. we went to a place called uh, Mike and Oh gosh. Pa Mike and Patties. Patties. Mike and Patties. It's a sandwich oh shop. Yeah. Um, highly recommended. Near mm. near the hotel and it was Delicious. Oh, hey, Josh Best Biarini. Best breakfast sandwiches. Hey, Josh, Josh, we, we just met Josh. Uh, he in says, the Hi, queue. guys, it was fantastic to finally meet you, as well as a number of other fans. Everyone was awesome. Your DD show was a blast. Oh, the yeah. rest of your trip is great, and thanks for coming out to the US. Thanks, Dude, Josh. Thank you for coming to meet us. It was really good to meet you. Um, yeah, DD was last night. We did a late, late show. Yeah, it was Eight fun. I kind of like nine. doing the late ones. Yeah, yeah. it feels like a, feels like a bit, of, bit of an actual sort of comedy show. Yeah. yeah. If if there was a, a bar involved, it would be just the ideal after yes. hours. Yes, we were Life absolutely show. not absolutely sober, but mostly <laughs> sober for it. Yeah, mostly. Uh, I mean, but then that was offset by how jet lagged we were. Yes, yeah. Um, which was quite so. Yeah, yeah, it's been. I'm just about adjusting now, but the way I adjust is by staying up beyond midnight every night. Yeah. Luke is, that, was, is that adjusting? Yeah. Oh, okay. Luke right. was joking that uh, Johnny should have had us all under a magical debuff called jet lag. Mm. Yeah. Oh, like a curse. The, yeah. In it's the end, he, he created. I, mean, I don't think it's a spoiler to say he created a character basically called Jet Lag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah oh, she's not fun. the. She, yeah. It's not a spoiler because she's not really the most no. important element. No. So big things happened, campaign. and yeah. don't worry if you weren't there because mm -hmm. it will go up on the YouTube yeah. channel after our MCM show from yes. the previous week ah. goes up on the YouTube channel. So we're like way ahead. Like it's going to be like a mini series coming yeah. soon. There's a lot of live D&D &D coming to the YouTube Xbox channel. And outside yeah. extra and, oh, and you'll, you'll see it all. Uh, Frodo Baggins is asking where uh, Ellen and Tall Ellen, they are, they're getting show the weekend. Somewhere ready. over there, yeah. In another room. Yeah, they're in a different swear. secret room. Yeah. Right yeah. There. That's, <laughs> There's so many secret rooms yeah. in the Boston Convention Center. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so they're hard at work. Michael mm. Blaise or Blaze says, "Hey, saw you last night. Hoping to meet you Sunday. So many shirt ideas from last night. Oh. Yeah. yeah, there's a it, there's a lot of." Very memeable <laughs> content in that D and D. Yep. Now, now you said it, it can't be a meme. No, yeah, it's, it's all uh, over. This is where all the magic happens. This yeah. is a live stream. Oh, actually, we're literally live Catherine from oh, US Gamers here. Yeah. Hey, hello. Hello. How are you doing? <laughs> wow, I thought you guys were just talking about doing no. like video stuff. No, I didn't realize you were actually. We're actually no. live, live on, on the internet. internet. Okay. 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 Uh, there we go. Yeah. There we go. So there check out usgamer.net uh, for coverage from PAX. What have you guys been up to? 
Uh, we've been up to a heck of a lot. I just checked out a game called SteamWorld Quest, which is this awesome RPG from the SteamWorld people. Sounds good. I went over to just check out the Shadow of the Tomb Raider DLC. Oh, nice. Yeah, we uh, also, if you're interested in that new Divinity Tactics game, I strongly recommend that you go to the site because we talked to the Larian Studios people cool. and we got a hands on with it. Very so, nice. Sounds very good. Very busy packs. So, yeah, what have you got next? Yes. What's next on the agenda? Well, we just celebrated the top, the 200th episode of Axe of the Blood God, which is going oh. up on Monday. That's our cool. RPG podcast podcast and nice. we picked the best the best story the best soundtrack the best rpg developer excellent the whole nine yards so holy crap like i didn't even realize <laughs> i would have to go into promotional mode <laughs> <laughs> good job, so. Thank you. Good job. Awesome. well yeah. enjoy the rest of the show and uh... i will and if you're at pax east come to our panel uh, we're doing dreamcast vg 24 7 versus oh, us gamer. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah and we got free stuff to give away 9 p.m at the arachnid theater cool so, thanks guys See you then. all right take care it's cool. a good recommend on the podcast as well. Yeah, I yeah. If Definitely. you're into RPGs and podcasts. Yeah. Right. Mr. Do Shot123 says, hey guys, can't wait to watch the D&D on the channel. It uh, will be fun. Yeah, we should have the one from MCM up next week. I yeah, think. I think so. Early next week. John's hopefully. busy sort of yep. knocking that into shape. Yep. Yes. Uh, Princess Lilfire LG says, it was so amazing to meet you all today. I can't even say how awesome. It was, it was great, great to meet you too. It's so cool when people are like, I'm this person from Twitter or this yeah. person from the live yeah. streams is yeah. very, very cool. The best thing about internet handles is that they're more distinctive. Yeah, When someone's course, like, yeah. I'm John, you're like, John, it's great to see you. <laughs> yes, exactly. And they're like, I am, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Velcro. Like, I know you. Velcro, yeah, you would like uh, you, Jane, to say hello to Kitty Beatty, who came running into the room when she heard your voice. Oh, hi, Kitty nice. Beatty, my number one cat fan. Imagine if you actually <laughs> met Kitty Beatty. Oh my gosh. Uh, Kitty Beatty came to meet and greet. Yeah. That'd yes. be amazing. Can we do all just animals? a meet and greet entirely for animals? Yeah. Animal. Uh, check out this sick humble brag from Carl Obsidian. Yeah. Playing Sekiro got to this, got from the start to the chained ogre and only died once. Sorry, Mike. You oh, lie. Oh, Why God. would you lie about the chained ogre? Have you managed to see any games at the expo? I'm going to just say, Carl Obsidian, that was probably watching and learning from me <laughs> that meant you were able to do that. Standing so on the shoulders of giants. You're welcome. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what was the car game that you were playing that you liked? Oh, Dangerous Driving. Dangerous Driving. Yeah, so uh, if you are a fan of the Burnout series, uh, it's, it's guys who worked on the Burnout series and it plays almost like Burnout exactly Burnout Burnout that you've been um, craving. It, well, um, it all looks identical. Pretty they've much. got uh, Ash from the Evil Dead in uh, oh, Dead, yeah. by Dead by Daylight. Yeah. That's out um, on Monday. Mm. Ash so versus cool. Evil Dead. Yeah, he's Monday, the new hero. Daylight, yeah. We were saying it's a bit of a shame there's no... Um, villain in that pack because obviously I think the you know in Dead by Daylight the really fun things are the murderers yeah, and they could have yeah, done yeah, like yeah. evil Ash you know yeah. the kind of zombified looking yeah. like evil oh, version that would have been and it would have been really brilliant to have those two yeah. facing off against each other but you know I, I really like Dead by Daylight I, I sort of um, I lobbied hard for us to do it in Hello Stream and when we did we had a really good time so yeah. hopefully we'll play a bit and more Dangerous like. Driving is out soon as well right yeah so real like soon yeah. we've, we've got a code for it so yeah. we'll play it yeah, 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 yeah. at some point uh, Tom Titherington says, it was lovely meeting you, thank you once again. Lovely to meet you Lovely too. to Thanks meet you for too, coming Tom. It was so good meeting you. I love how many people who yeah. are here are yeah. <laughs> sort of now. watching wow. on their phones, maybe. Yeah. Pretty good. Which is maybe cool. they're in a, if, if you're in a queue for something, maybe for another panel, yeah, absolutely. you'd be on your phone checking stuff out. Uh, a couple good. of questions about Vampire uh, the Masquerade's Bloodlines too. So yeah. Ali Fazio says, hey, uh, saying hi from Indiana. Mike, how do you feel about the announcement? Super excited. It looks, the trailer's great. Yeah. Like, atmospheric. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be Excellent. Uh, they've got Brian Mitsoda, yeah. the uh, uh, original writer from Bloodlines. I think it will be really good. Full confidence. Uh, suggestion to go to Gen Con as well, biggest tabletop games con. Cool. Someone in the we'll queue gave us a, a copy, physical copy, vintage copy of the original Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah, it was Bloodlines. very, very cool. It was nice to hold, hold one of them again. Yeah, yeah. Kai G's asking if we thought about what our character would be in the new Vampire Masquerade. We have actually had a discussion. We've got some ideas, yeah. We've got, yeah, some, ideas. We've got yeah. some ideas. Wouldn't yeah. want to spoil anything. We've described the clans. It, We've described uh, the clans to Andy, and I think he's got his, his eye on <laughs> his a particular eye. clan, see if you can guess. guess. Yeah. yeah. Uh, John? Oh, maybe that would be fun. We could uh, get people to guess. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think we know which one Andy would guess. I'm, I'm actually torn. If yeah. we were to do it, yeah. I was talking to uh, Johnny about this over a whiskey. We had a whiskey last right. night in the all hotel right. bar. We're all cool, um, Mike. Yeah, uh, and well, I had a whiskey and I threw it angrily into a fireplace. <laughs> right, that's what I do with whiskey. Um, but yeah, we, we were chatting about it, and I'm I'm kind of torn between who I would play if we mm. were to do a, mm. uh, a Vampire the Masquerade um, mm. campaign. Mm. Uh, Bendix is in the chat. Hey, Hi. Bendix. Oh, wow. Hey. Good to, see, good to hear from you. Can't wait to draw all the D&D things. Oh, <laughs> oh Shout out to Denmark. Yeah. Hey, hey Bendix. Um, yeah, it's uh, some really 
bonkers stuff yeah. happened last yeah. night. Oh my God, it was so. Events I think the, the jet lag mania did grip us <laughs> slightly, so it's probably the most chaotic D and D. What if we watched it back and we're all just babbling at yeah, each other? Just and you're like, wow, what a great show! We <laughs> oh man, John Sharplin's here. He gave me such a thoughtful gift at the meet and greet. Uh, he says, oh. "My dudes, I'm pretty sure my heart exploded meeting today, Andy. I hope you can find the time to get through that biography. Much love." He gave me a copy of Ron Chernow's biography of Alexander Hamilton, signed by Ron Chernow, very, very uh, cool. which I've been meaning to read for ages. Top gift. Mm. And yeah. I'm going to start on the plane home. I'm very Sounds excited good. to read it. So thank mm. you again. That was a really oh, thoughtful speaking gift. Speaking of really gifts, appreciate it. I've got one of them here because um, this is from Christy. Yes. Who made this. I don't know if you've ever seen it or if it'll be it in focus. Be yeah, I think yeah. it'll focus. Be focus. There you go. So this, was, this is from Christy. I'm wearing the exact outfit. Look, yeah. if I stand very straight, that's sort of It's exactly Mike wearing his like. iconic hoodie. Yeah. And everyone else wearing their iconic outfit. I love how you said iconic rather than just lazy. <laughs> my, my hoodies. So look, it's a brand. It's comfy. It's but comfy. Christy couldn't be here. And, yeah, uh, she's not well. She wasn't so. very well. So get well soon, Christy. Thank you so much for this, um, this masterpiece. Yeah. It's, it's really charming. It's look very, at Alan's very hair. Cool. Look at Andy's beard. Look at Andy's beard. <laughs> They've got my Kojima hoodie with yeah. a like, really yeah. delicate Very fine work there. It's very yeah. good. Um, yeah, it's been really fun meeting everyone. Um, I, I'm always, you know, blown away by how lovely everyone is, and, and it's been really yeah. cool to meet some of our US fans for the first time. Like, it's it's cool to be here and and you know meeting a bunch of people who otherwise wouldn't we wouldn't be able to meet. So yeah. it's been very cool. Except for uh, a very few people who are like, oh, I met you at EGX one time. Yeah, a few people <laughs> chased us around the globe. Yeah, um, yeah, which is even very cool. Even better. Um, yeah, it's so cool. <laughs> Mr. Pancake Fifty Four says my hand looks so pale. Sorry. Oh, we do have a light on. Yeah, there's a ring. Yeah, if yeah. I cover it up, there's a light here. But there you go. No, it gets less ghostly. Yeah. Whoa, there you go. Look, yeah. look at this. Yeah. This is see the sort this of thing. The magic of light. <laughs> yeah, magic of light. Um, uh, okay, Reckless Rex is here. Hey, Rex, saying, "OMG, I'm so happy to see you. I'm also so sad I can't be there. You're so close to me, but just out of reach. Oh. My heart is breaking. I'm really sad, sad you couldn't make it. Don't, yeah, don't be sad. But we'll, we'll, we'll be plan on being back. Yeah. You know, I think we'd really like to do this sort of thing again. And Persephone Plasmid says, "Please come to Utah. We love you, and I'll give you saltwater taffy. Salt well, deal. We'll right. hold. Wait, how, how, how much saltwater taffy are we talking? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that sounds cool. We go to Utah. Yeah. yeah we'll we'll go to Utah. Salt Lake City. Yeah. Here's right. good." Uh, Zanzibar White says, when are we going to see a lot of my dude's shirts? Also, any <laughs> new game announcements you're excited about? Uh, I, I, Borderlands 3, I'm, I'm up for. Like, yeah, uh, there's a couple of questions actually about Borderlands I've 3. Not, I, are... I've not played a ton of the other ones. and I sort of bounced off the first one, but I had a bit more fun with Borderlands 2 and a bit more fun than that with the pre-sequel. So, so the pattern is... Yeah. You're Borderlands 3, I'm going to love it. Um, yeah, Velcro Yuffie was asking how we feel about it. Um, I didn't actually see the panel yesterday. We've been so busy yeah. that we haven't had a chance to actually see the trailer. I just said before we started the live stream to Mike, I really ought to <laughs> catch up on that Borderlands 3 yeah. stuff. And yeah. Yeah, maybe after this live stream I'll finally get to it. Also, Master Samek 17 is asking for thoughts as well. Um, yeah, I need to check that out. Uh, I, we did watch the trailer for the um, uh, Wolfenstein yeah, the young young blood looks yeah. really really mm. fun. In uh, fact, that's that's here at the show, isn't it? I saw a. Is it? I briefly saw a banner that I I believe was for it. <laughs> <laughs> There's it so looks, much down yeah, there. It's it insane. I have to check it out later. Uh, yeah. And the soundtrack by Carpenter Brut, and I have one oh, of the t-shirts. Oh, that's your fave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of your so t-shirts. One, one of, of your my, iconic t-shirts. One of my fave t-shirts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get working on that lol my dudes shirt. Then. Oh yeah, so, right. Yeah. If if people want it, then I am all for it. Uh, Zach Ho says I'm supposed to be in Boston next week. I'm oh. sad I missed you guys, but we uh, hope you all have an amazing time. Looking forward to the D and D videos. Yeah, yeah they should be going up soon. Hopefully. At least when you're traveling to Boston, mm. hopefully the D and D videos will be available for you to watch instead. Uh, Nathan Smathan says, Are you guys enjoying some American cuisine? I tell yes. you what, we're going to a jazz brunch tomorrow. Are yeah, we? Luke yeah. is insisting. Oh, Luke f fixated as he sometimes does I think on an idea. And this idea was, was jazz everyone's brunch, got jazz to come with me to a jazz brunch. <laughs> it's like even I don't even think that's a really Bostonian yeah. thing. Yeah, <laughs> just, just a, a Luke a, thing. Just a jazz brunch. And uh, are we going to that barbecue place tonight? Well? Oh, that's yeah, that's a bit more. Uh, maybe I would like. Get some barbecue. I would like some. Isn't it? I would like some barbecue. So maybe. Uh, Reckless Rex wants to know if James and or John came along to Boston. No, James nor not. John. They yeah. are both back home working very hard. Yeah. Well, I hope they've stopped by now because it's. It's going to be like that. Yeah, D&D yeah. &D edits and show of the week. Yeah, um, yeah. So yeah show of the week will be coming thanks to the to the efforts of James and John. Yes. Yeah, we're so behind on everything, but we do have a finished version of show of the week. Yeah. We just need to get it all ready for you, pretty it up for YouTube and then yeah. it can go out. Yep. So that's cool. Uh, welcome to new member uh, Dr. JPEG. Dr. Nice. JPEG. Thanks for joining us. Big fan. <laughs> People oh, it's Dr. JPEG. Dr. JPEG. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Um, people asking about uh, who's a better hitman, me or you. Well, I think we know the answer to that. Uh, yeah, uh, I think we, we do. Definitively proved it. I think we, I think um, we in 
that goes my video. I saw a comment. Um, <laughs> I saw a comment on one of our videos. Um, no, it was on Twitter actually, and someone was saying that when you do another three ways to play Hitman, yes. uh, no one should be allowed to use, you know, like story missions. You know, there's kind of pre-programmed oh, opportunities. opportunities yeah. You should be, you know, it's a, it's a true test of skill. It should be yeah. entirely improvised. Well, they're so fun though. The they are really fun. You get some really hilarious. Forty-seven skills. pretending to be an estate agent. Yeah, which is but th they are. Um, yeah, it's a bit like Hitman by numbers. Yeah, I. I mean, I. I tend to not. No, you you, you them, use them the least, so. I think. Um, I did use a bit of it in Whistleson Creek to get the barbecue thing set up, but oh, then yeah, I just blew true. up the barbecue that was and pretty fun. Like, ran yeah. off. So, yeah. um, I think there's always room for uh, um, improvisation in, 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 those, in the in the in the finale. Yeah. Yeah. That you like, you can just go off piste mm. and be like, well, I know I've set up this elaborate <laughs> death trap, but now I'm going to <laughs> beam you with a block of C4 yes. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tommy Ford says, "Wish I could have made his packs. Love what you guys do. I love the more informal direction of the channel. Any other new changes coming to the channel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, Even more informality. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we'll be in gym jams. Mike's going to stop wearing trousers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Live streams. <laughs> the big, the big, actually, stop yeah. the big packs reveal. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh boy. Oh, All right, what else have we got? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even uh, think it's jet lag. I think no, it's just, it's just faintly tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Real Grog says, wasn't so hard to get to Boston, but it wasn't in the cards. Andy, were you disappointed to have to be a heart of the whale instead of the, the lion? Yeah, the, like Corazon de Bayena instead of Corazon de Leon. Corazon de Leon is a, like objectively a cooler mm. name to say. Corazon de Leon is just... It's a bit on the nose, though. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Corazon de Bayena is it's not, it's cool. I still like it. It's, it could be a lot worse. It could be, yeah, it could have a much worse. It's story. got a cool origin story. It involves an actual yeah. whale, so it's fine. Uh, the one who snacks says, yes, pumped to see you on Sunday. Are you guys more handshake slash high five slash hug kind of people? So I don't go for a big old hug and stress you out. <laughs> we had a lot of people hugging today. We had some hugs, yeah. yeah. That's cool. I if people want to hug. We get quite a few people who ask for us, which is really yes, nice. It's, it's nice, nice to be asked. And it, yes. it just gives you a moment of, of uh, forewarning, I suppose, <laughs> just to prepare yourself. Just someone rugby tackles you yeah. off screen. Yeah. Uh, just a heads up for Sunday, they did have to cap our queue today mm -hmm. um, because uh, too many people turned up. So if you definitely want to meet us, um, maybe get Show up early. early yeah. Yeah. Um, you may have to wait for a while, sorry, but that's just the way that it works with these things. Mm -hmm. um, but we would hate for people to really want to see us and not mm -hmm. be able to make things to you. And yeah. we're going to have to run to the airport afterwards. We're going straight so to the airport. Yep. Not, we, we ran over by like 45 minutes today, but we won't be able to run over on Sunday. No, because, because we've got to get a yeah, flight. Yeah, so um, yeah, fingers crossed. Oh, hey, Snow Blossom says, I'm so glad you love the cross stitch and thank hey, you for the get well wishes. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. I hope you're feeling better. So that, this is Snow Blossom. There you Snowbottom's work right here. Thank you so Either much. Either that or an yeah. imposter trying to oh, claim no. credit for, for Snowbottom's excellent work. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure it's legit. I hope you feel yeah. better soon. <laughs> it's that jet lag talking. Yeah. Don't, don't worry. Uh, Mariah Stewart wants to know how tall we all are. Uh, are you fitting me for a suit? <laughs> uh, What's your in seat? <laughs> That's extremely personal information. I'm 5'7". 5'11"-ish? Uh, five, five, yeah, 5'11"-ish. Right. About that. Uh, Luke's so about six foot ten. Yeah, he's not, he's not that tall. <laughs> Strictly one Becker says, "So glad I got to PAX last night. I'm a teacher in Boston and still had to go teach sixteen-year-olds this morning, but it was so worth it. You're all fantastic. Oh, nice. Oh man, thank I, you for coming. Yeah, glad you really enjoyed it all. Yeah, you good luck out. teaching those sixteen-year-olds. Yeah, uh, you're doing good work. Teach them how long to set. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. Some yeah. things happened. Mistakes well, some, were made. Oh. Some people have seen it. It was on Twitch." So that's true yeah I suppose it's, it is somewhat in the public, public yeah. record but I, won't, I don't want to spoil anything yeah. there, are, there are probably people that are waiting to see yeah, it on the channel, to see it on the actual channel. kind of like yeah. polish it up you know make it nice mm -hmm. put um, some music on it that kind of thing yeah Ella Thompson says Bumba can't go to any of the live shows due to living in the middle of nowhere but I still support however I can oh, oh, thanks, thank you. Ella. That's really thank nice you for your support um, what else we got here oh yeah they have the <laughs> handshake <laughs> high five hug kind of question nice that's a good question uh, Philip Prue says, uh, are you guys ever going to come to Chicago? I'd like to, yeah. It seems like a pretty cool town. It's You've great. Been, been I, across there yeah, before? Luke and I were there like mm. last month. Uh, it was extremely cold. I, I you love know what? Chicago. Star Wars Celebration is in Chicago this year. Soon though, isn't it? Is it like, isn't it April? All right. So you're saying if I get on the on the blower to JJ. Yeah, <laughs> yeah to JJ. Yeah. Um, <laughs> JJ sends the plane. We'll just stay in America. Just overstay your welcome. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> immigration because he's watching. Yeah. yeah, it's a very cool city, Chicago. Yeah, yeah, it looks good. I, I want to try like a deep to. dish. I love pizza so much. I really want to try like a deep dish Chicago pizza. I've Mike never had one. Makes a lot, lot of his um, travel decisions based, based on what's the local cheese yeah. sort of yeah. dish yeah. variant. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Amazification says, so what's the weirdest thing each of you have noticed about being here in the USA versus home? I'm so happy you guys are here. Okay. Public toilets where there's oh, like wow, yeah. a, a, gap in the a quarter inch gap 
between in the cubicle. The What's that about? Door like, door and and the, what is that about? And the, the sort of pillar. Um, and I know people can't see you through it, but you can see people walking past them. Well, if you can see them, it's very unnerving. They can see you, right? Yeah, I, I think it's because you're stationary and you're kind of sat quite close to it. But like Maybe. someone who's walking across the other side of the room can't, you know. Yeah. I I just mm. yeah makes me nervous. <laughs> I mean that is yeah that is a good. That's a good one. Um, there's probably better, less bathroom-related ones. Oh, um, the thing about uh, in bars when you order a like a spirit in a mixer, and it'll they'll just free pour mm. the spirit, and it'll be literally three quarters alcohol, and then a little a little top off of diet coke on that. Wait, you saying you you don't understand it, or you don't like it? No, I'm just saying. I'm not that's complaining. A diff- that's a big difference. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah it's to be like fair, like that whiskey I had with Johnny last night, that was clearly a good whiskey because they, he very carefully measured it uh, out. He wasn't like la 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 la. It's like every drop of that was precious. Uh, Shane Brimson says, do you guys like Japanese snacks? I'm hoping to bring some to EGX for you. Yes, we do. Thank you. Always. Uh, also, any chance of Jane doing a Claire run in Resident Evil when Andy's done? Uh-oh. Mm. So you playing as Claire. Yeah. In the Am second, I ready? Second run. Do you think I've learned enough? At the, at the learning tree. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. What do you think? I, I think I, I would like to. Yeah. Maybe take a little breather from mm. Resident Evil and then come back to it and do the... The Claire scenario, because when you finish the um, that scenario, we'll get a different ending, yeah, like a more complete, proper ending uh, for for that second scenario. Right? Yeah, you get so the, the real final boss. I find it really aggravating. Yeah, where you finish something, but they're like, oh, do nice it all try, again. But that wasn't real. Not even do, do it all again, but like for some reason, because you haven't completed yeah. every little thing, that wasn't the real ending. Like, like, what oh, I like oh, to do in that circumstance is go to YouTube. And YouTube. Watch it. I feel like I've done my yeah. bit. And I'm like, right, I'm gonna yeah. go. Watch like, wait, yeah, when Arkham Knight was like, now we'll do do all this to unlock the yeah. Nightfall ending. Okay, I watched like, the Nightfall <laughs> ending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Now search this on YouTube to experience <laughs> the Nightfall ending. Valkyrie Happy says, Kitty Faith, he wants to know if Mike is going to be racing anytime soon. Are you sure this isn't a John Realman? Question? Yeah. <laughs> uh, still trying to put something together. It's difficult. Uh, I think particularly with all the kind of Brexit uncertainty and stuff, like sponsors are being careful with their money, mm. but the, there are some options that, like, that might might come to fruition. We'll see. Oh, I'd like to be out in the car. Well, Someone did get you a NASCAR hat. They did, yeah, which is, which is halfway good, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Human Debris um, has a related question. Mike, what engine slash trans setup in your race car? Uh, it is a 1.6 six liter Ford ZTEC engine, uh, naturally aspirated. And Gotta then have a 1.6. Oh yeah, I think going, it's 1.6. Anything, it's either 1.6 or 1.6. Oh no, um, you want the 1.6. Yeah, um, <laughs> and it's a five speed manual gearbox, yeah. out, straight out five of speed. Um, Wait, <laughs> did he consider the, the six? No, you don't really need it. Yeah. I don't even get. It don't even get to I fifth. Think, I think the fi- just four, five four, is the basic. Four, well, I mean, four is good <laughs> as well. I'm sorry, we're doing. Um, I drank 1.6 liters of Diet Coke today, probably. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a, an MX5 gearbox. It's really fun to use, and it, it makes about 135 horsepower. Oh, yeah, yeah, you've got to get the MX5. Yeah. So, are, you, are we still c- calling for sponsors? <laughs> If you like. <laughs> um, Adam Fillion says, D&D was amazing last night. Had tears in my eyes Aww. of happiness. I hope that wasn't, yeah, amazingly bad. Please come bad. back and do more in the yeah. States. Well, it was quite, there were some big emotional lurches. <laughs> it, like, it, it swung yep. wildly around in like town. Us. <laughs> yeah. last night, which like us. Like us, it shambled wildly. Yeah. yeah. Lurched from side to side. From uh, extremes. And then fell asleep yeah. placed down mm. on the floor. <laughs> Annika Brock says, I wanted to try to get the packs, but I had to get my new tattoo finished today. I'll see you at Res, though. Ooh, fair. So Bring that tattoo with you. I yeah. guess you have to. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Res is going to be great. That's next weekend. Wow, amazing. Mm. Yeah. Just, just uh, trying to get my head I can't, be- yeah. It's Can Friday today. That will this be time next week, first. we will be. It can't be only Friday. Slap bang in the middle of EGX mm. Res. Wow. Yeah. Getting ready for our first live show. Others, well, not the other side of the world, but <laughs> some distance away. Uh, yeah. Aaron Simmons says, What's your favourite YouTube channel book movie? All right, quick. Don't um, overthink it. Oh, crikey. Gosh, what a Defunct Land, I've already talked about, but it's an excellent YouTube channel. All right, book. Um, book. Oh, gosh. Um, Car to beat the devil. Mm-hmm, maybe. Uh, movie. Oh my god. Evil Dead 2. <laughs> Alright, that's good. That's good. Favourite questions are hard. They are really tough. I like you so just much. Made me stuff. Do it. Yeah. yeah, that's why I made you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh, Kuba Miezwa says, first time doing this donation thing, it was my 18th birthday recently. I would like to thank you guys for the last two and a half years. You oh. never failed to put a smile on my face. Oh, Thanks. Thank you. Happy birthday. You put a smile on our face. Thank yeah. you very much, Kuba. What a good birthday. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Patrick Long says the older levels in Hitman 2 have foliage you can hide in now as well as updated lighting. Oh, mm. so the ones from Hitman 1. No yeah, way. You I can play the ones. Yeah. Would you I be willing to stream Hitman 2 sometime? Yeah, we oh. should go back and do some of the ones from the 
Uh, yeah, we game. could do. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we always like streaming Hitman too. So we have done some recently. They've added foliage, or like where there was foliage. Yeah. Now you also, can kind of the other thing is that mirrors will now work in the old levels ah. as well. So, like some of the stuff you could get away with, like in Hokkaido, where you go into the bathroom. And yeah, you can yeah, just you like, can't yeah. do that anymore. Uh, That's really interesting. It's a bit more tricky. Cool. But cool. they're still the same. Yeah, yeah, levels, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice, um, interesting. Carl Obsidian says, it's my birthday on Saturday and I live in London and I forgot to get a Res D&D ticket. Oh, no. Oh, man. Uh, will you be doing a meetup that day? Oh, yeah. Yeah, there'll be meet and yeah, greets. Pretty much every day. There yeah. are every day, so... Yeah, so you can come on to that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and, it, again, it'll go on to um, huh? YouTube at some point. And yes. also, there are... I think there are still a few Friday tickets left. Maybe uh, in future works, we, could, um, we could do some, like, uh, like standby tickets or... Uh, do you know what I mean? Like I thought you were going to say in-character D&D meetup. <laughs> I mean, we could do that as well. I mean, that sounds hard. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was I saying, if, if, we, if we held back um, a, a, a few tickets, then uh, people who arrived like nice and early in the day mm. could like pick them up and, and yeah. you know, it's all just give them the, pro the problem with the tickets them. thing is that we are not in control of it. No, and even if true. we were in control of it, we wouldn't have any idea what we were doing. So uh, <laughs> it, it, we will look into that and yeah. what's possible, we'll, but we'll, it, we don't really know. We'll uh, raise it as yep. an idea, maybe. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I like the idea that, that if there are just a handful of people that really missed out, they yeah. could, you know, yeah, that would some be, tickets on the day. Be that'd be kind of nice, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, Libby Queen says, my friend's at PAX East right now and got to meet you guys today. So oh. nice you went without me. Hope you guys have a great time in Boston. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. So we think it's a bit you. Um, we may have signed something for you. I don't know. Like sometimes yeah, no. people come up and say, oh, my friend can't be here, but like, yeah. uh, you know, we can sign postcards. So I don't know. I don't want to spoil it. I want to maybe, I don't want to <laughs> yeah. guilt, really guilt trip your friend if they didn't do it. Yeah, but, nice um, one. Too late. <laughs> you know, but it's happened. So, you know. Uh, Beth Horton <laughs> says, crazy Friday night for me in the UK, watching this live stream curled up with my dog in a cup. How exciting. Nice. Hope you guys are having fun. That sounds like a I really a nice Friday right evening. Now, oh God, I've I haven't had a cup of tea up. since the flight over. Yeah, since the flight. Yeah. And that was not a proper cup of tea. No, it never is, is it, on an airline? Let's go find some tea. <laughs> tea. <laughs> Should have brought tea bags. <laughs> when, will I, when will I learn? I think Big Ellen, bag of yours Ellen tea. always brings tea bags. So. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Boomshakalaka says, hey guys, really enjoyed the panel. Andy was on RE Best Game. Surprised you didn't go with one of the RDRs or Resi 2. Yeah. I loved your argument for Phoenix Wright. How would the others answer the question? I was surprised that you didn't say Red Dead Redemption, actually. Yeah, yeah, or Fallout 3, you are always a big fan of. Yeah, no, I love Fallout 3 as well. It was hard to choose. Um, and I, I think, like, the question, like, what's the best game of all time? Like, the, um, the other guy on the panel was saying, it's, it's like, well, what do you mean by best? Do you mean, like, mm -hmm. my favourite one or the one I admire the most? Um, the so one in the that end, made the biggest impact on the industry? Yeah, I just wanted to talk about something interesting because yep. I, f I felt like, I didn't know what anyone, anyone else was picking, and I thought that yeah. probably Red Dead Redemption would come up and it didn't. So yeah, I'm sure, you weren't like empirically, scientifically proving what the best game of the last yeah. thing is. But yeah. I feel the same way about questions to ask what your favourite is, because, yeah. mm. I mean, you couldn't have a, a huge amount of love for a, a number of games, but you love them in different ways, or there's mm. different things about them that you appreciate, and like sometimes you, you, you know, sometimes you want to play this one, sometimes you want to play this one. So yeah, I agreed a lot with what Eva said about Dark Souls. Dark Souls would definitely be a contender for that. Um, Actually, you've made a really strong yeah. case. Like, I'm not really a Dark Souls Fan, mm. But listening to Aoife talk about it, I'm like, I gotta get, I gotta get mm. another. She, she's a really great advocate yeah, for yeah. Dark Souls because yeah. she was she's talking, thought about it so. Deeply, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like. And she's talking about how it, it, it gets a bad rap. It's not as inaccessible mm. as everyone makes out, or, or the, the reputation that it's gotten. Yeah. And that is actually not a helpful reputation in many ways because it puts some people off and it makes other people a bit kind of gatekeepy about yeah. it. Yeah, um, yeah. The community, the community has its its elements that yeah. are like slightly. Like they don't want anyone else to be into it because yeah. it, well, it's a badge of honor to be yeah. good at Dark Souls. And yeah. if it was less of a badge of honor, it would, it, I mean, that's part of the appeal yeah. to them of Dark Souls. But the panel made a really nice point about how it, it gets away with being so um, demanding. Yeah, because um, it's good. Yeah, exactly. On, on because it is so um, so masterfully made. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to play a game yeah. that yeah. is masterfully made. Yeah. I'm just. I think the problem is a. Uh, it's, it takes a such a commitment. I feel patience, like you need like a lot of patience. With Dark Souls, I think I've said this before. I think you need like a five-hour block where mm, you sit down and that's an issue learn. For me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and yeah, we're yeah. all so busy; it's really difficult to do. I, I think also it's about um, like intense focus mm. because I can summon intense focus. For not, not, not long at all. Yeah. Of time. yeah, you can't really be like checking Twitter no, know, and like watching the TV think, at the same time. Yeah, I think like, the, the, the kind of sort of some of the games I play probably have encouraged a kind of more laid back, yeah. kind of lazy type of play. You can't even pause it. 
Like it does not, like Dark Souls does not. Sekiro, right. you can cancel, pause, cancel which that. is like. Dark Souls is cancelled. <laughs> um, but what I was going to say was actually, I think yeah. story, story RPGs are probably the thing that have been most important to me in the last yeah. 20 years. And I think like Mass Effect, the first one was a really big thing for me. Mm. And also Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines, which is why I'm Speak super excited. Devil. Yeah. yeah. So. I, the, the, all the nostalgia that's been floating around for that game mm. has made me remember how much I yeah. love it. And, and yeah. Oh, it's so good. Oh, man. I, I really hope people embrace it because it's there's a lot of embracing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, the because uh, it, it was a kind of cult hit and didn't sell that well before, yeah. but was like h- really highly regarded. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and but it's it's a long time ago, so it's like, is that going to translate? Hopefully, people will find yeah. find it and be passionate about it, it. I mean, it was pretty janky in its own way. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, hilariously. So. But it. Unlike Dark Souls, it really wants you to love it. Yeah, like, it's really yeah. lovable. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But do you remember it was released with a game-breaking? Bug? Yeah, like the like only you way could you could play it. You, the only way you can really play it now is with the kind of constantly updating fan yeah, patch yeah, yeah. that makes it sort yeah. of but workable. When yeah. you bought a box copy of that game, if you tried to play it and complete it, it crashed. It's because uh, Troika, <laughs> the studio, time. went out of business. Yeah, yeah. Like just after as they shipped it, as they were shipping it. Yeah, it was it. like they shipped it, and then between them shipping it, yeah. and it actually. It's so of, tragic. Yeah, it's hor- really horrible. Really tragic. I also wonder how the marketing for that game. I mean, not to get too industry about it, but how, mu- how much the marketing suffered yeah. because of troubles at the studio or like financial issues. I don't. I don't remember it. I, I wasn't that involved in the games industry at the time, mm. but. Um, I, I wonder how much better it could have done if the mm. studio was in a better place and the publisher had maybe like gone for it more. Yeah, it was Activision who published yeah. it. But it is a fun game to like advocate for. Yeah, so yeah. It's brilliant it's fun. And again, hugely ambitious, right? Yeah. Like I don't mind if games kind of like miss the mark a bit if they're just trying really hard and yeah. trying to cram in loads of really interesting stuff into that game. Absolutely, should have yeah. been on the panel. Should have been on the panel. Oh, it's you should have been on the panel. Did a good job. Wow. Yeah. Luke, um, Luke was did a great job with Breath of the Wild as well. Max Littlewood is here at PAX right now. Oh. Didn't get a chance to meet you, was too full. I don't know if he means the queue was too full. He was too full. <laughs> <laughs> was too full of Boston beans. <laughs> uh, but I was at D&D yesterday. Hope you guys are having a great time. Thanks yeah, for coming yeah. along to, to D&D. Yeah. yeah, maybe you can make it to the Sunday meet and greet if you're yeah. still around. That'd be cool. And um, like I said, if you roam in the corridors and you hear our voices, then you just burst through the door, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kick in every door in PAX, yeah. Uh, Jay Gogo says, while I'm at work, uh, while at work, when I got the notification, boss, I'm definitely working right now. Okay, wish I could come to PAX and watch you guys live. Nice. Uh, don't get in trouble with your boss. Yes, also don't get <laughs> in trouble with your boss. Um, hey, if your boss is watching on his yeah, own also computer watching elsewhere. elsewhere. Uh, Agent Santa 47 says, Hey guys, I was sick in the hospital for a while, but now I'm home to edit the wiki more. Can't wait to see the Ox Ventures. Is this the D&D wiki? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, cool. oh, sorry to hear you weren't well. Glad to hear you're feeling better. And yes, the wiki is, is Keep great. up the good work, wiki boss. Good job. Mm. Yeah. Uh, Lots Allen. of new info to add after oh, yeah. the next three weeks. Have a real job. Yeah, a job of work. Those typing fingers are limber. So much, so many characters. Uh, Nathan Allen says, "I love D and D yesterday. I almost cried again. Not sure. Good, happy cry. Yeah, <laughs> there's all the onions <laughs> that yeah. we were, you know, Throwing chopping around. Ground. Yeah. Uh, I love that you guys are doing meetups and stuff, but I hope you have time to actually see some games. Yeah, I hope so too. It seems <laughs> unlikely, but maybe, maybe." The uh, tabletop area is so cool and inviting yeah. and chill looking. It would be really fun to go and just like borrow a tabletop game yep. from that. There's this vast like library, like lending library of tabletop mm. games, and just grab one of those and like sit because that the, the the tabletop area is open till midnight, so mm. you could be playing like. It's a really cool thing, yeah. Here. So the, the show floor itself closes at is it like eight or something like that? Uh, six. six or six? eight. Yeah. Like the the, the whole. The main bit with all main, the games, yeah. but then yeah, all, all the sort of ancillary stuff like the I think the retro stuff stays open till yep. like dance stage, the dance stage, yeah, yeah. all that stuff. So you can conceivably yeah. be a pax just hanging out with your friends yeah. until until midnight. Mm. Mm. Um, okay, so who have we got? Uh, Dhruv Raj Vanshi says, Andy, could you recommend some history books? Uh, there is a, there's a really good series of history books called The Time Traveller's Guide to, um, like Medieval England, Elizabethan England, and they're written at, from a sort of first-person perspective of what someone would experience going to those times and like walking around the place, nice. like if they were a time traveller. It's like, all right, you're in an Elizabethan town, this is what you smell, this is what you see, this mm. is what's going on, and they're written in a really sort of vivid first-person way, That's cool. uh, which helps sort of bring those periods to life, so I can definitely recommend that series. Nice. Uh, those are great. Uh, Austin Curitan says, so sad I couldn't make it, but if you guys are ever down in Texas Way, specifically Dallas, Fort Worth area, I'd love to meet you. <laughs> I'd be a bit nervous, but I definitely love it. 
That's cool. Uh, I'd like to visit Texas. Yeah, Dallas. Know. I've been to Dallas. Mm-hmm. It's a cool, cool city. Um, but, uh, had some really good barbecue at Pecan Lodge. Sweet. Oh. Shout out to Pecan Lodge <laughs> in Dallas. Uh, Matthias Tillman says, I was recently diagnosed with AST. I'm 29. I just want to show my appreciation. You never failed to cheer me up. Uh, what you do really does matter. Never forget that. Much love to the whole OX team and community. Thanks. Oh, thank sorry you. to hear that, Matthias. Yeah. And I hope that, you know, I hope you're able to manage it and, and things. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Greg Higgins says, while you're in the States, can you swing by Pittsburgh and help me beat Sekiro? I don't think we can help <laughs> I can't, yeah, Sekiro. no. Has anyone beaten Sekiro? I don't think so. I think it's unwinnable. Luke's I don't think they made Luke's an end. Luke's doing okay. Yeah. Ethers, Ethers, Ethers doing well at it. Yeah, what, no, if, no. what if they just didn't make the end of that game and no one's, no one's realised it yet? <laughs> that would be like the ultimate. <laughs> they, they're like, the we're ultimate we're going to patch in the last yeah, quarter in a few months. We've got till October to yeah. <laughs> the end of the game. Yeah, I've, sure. I've actually been playing some of it. Really? Yeah, I I really like it, but it's that it's that focus issue. Yeah, it's like that yeah. concentration. I'm like, man, my my sort of focus muscles have atrophied mm, yeah. because like I can summon the the, the, the focus to ha- to give a boss a really good go, but never. But then I can it. I can feel that that kind of focus is slipping, and like obviously that's just going to make it worse and worse. Whereas mm. the idea is that you're going to get incrementally better. Yep. But at the same time, my focus is like <laughs> slipping away. So yeah. I, I, and and also when I say focus, I also I guess I would bundle that in with like um, the kind of the, the really fast like twitch reflex yeah. like to watch and react with almost zero kind yeah, of you have to delay. be fully engaged yeah, really you're doing, engaged yeah. and um i think that's that's a, a, a really important mm-hmm. skill that i do have, have not got well, if you press on with it i think you might find that yeah. you then you go, it. could play dark yeah. souls and, and you'd have the some of the, the basic yeah. sort of skills to i'm starting to get the taste though like i, I really understand like where Why that these games passion people, yeah. comes from because mm-hmm. Like even the smallest of victories is like the That's best right. victory yeah, you've like ever pumping, had. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dennis Hayden says, "I just learned about an animated Adams Family movie. Were you all aware of this? And how excited were you?" <laughs> and why didn't you tell it. me? It's the one um, Oscar Isaac, Oscar Isaac, Isaac it, right? Gomez, nice. which again is amazing casting, even like for a live action movie mm. as well. So please, someone make that with Oscar Isaac and Oscar Gomez. That would be great. Uh, the year says, "How are you doing, guys? I hope you're having fun in the US. Just want to say I love the GTA series and wonder if it's going to return, or perhaps you know some Red Dead Redemption Two adventures. Well, Question both possibilities. Are we ready for a hundred-hour Let's Play series? I, mean, I am. I keep saying let's do it. <laughs> and he's like, let's, let's shut down the channel and just just do, just do Red, Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. Oh, that would be fun. Um, speaking of things that that are relevant to your interests, Andy, yes. you know the Jordan Peele Twilight Zone starts really soon. I do. Mm. Like Next premieres few days. in the U- in the US. So Next few days? Mm, I think so, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I've seen some trailers and they Jordan read some Peele. reviews, like a yeah. little bit mixed, but it oh, sounds really? like it'll be fun. I love the Twilight Zone. Jordan Peele is a genius. Yeah. It's, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm hype. Yeah, you guys need to see us as well. Right? Yes. As soon as possible so we yes. can talk about that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Michael Schmidt said, oh, speaking of what we were just talking about, what? Michael Schmidt says, really glad to hear a lot of people showing up. You guys breathe positivity and cheer. Managed to beat Sekiro today. What? Died at least 40 times to the final boss. 40 times. Wow. But someone has beaten Hats Sekiro off. and it's yeah. Michael Schmidt. So well Man. done. Man. Oh my God. You must, work. you must feel amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, John Sharpman says, I would just like us all to take a moment and recognise Queen Jane's crown edition on the autographs Ooh. today. All hail. Also a shout out to the community. It was just as great to meet fellow viewers. Were you drawing a crown on all of I, that? Uh, do you know what? Horns, I, I think I, crowns, only, I, think I drew um, some like prudence horns yeah. on a few. Yeah. And I think I put like a, a little crown on some nice. of them. I put an eye so, patch on one. So, so everyone's so. got something a little bit different. Yeah. So. If you got the one with the eye patch, that's yeah, yeah single edition. Uh, Noah says, can't stay, but I'm studying abroad this fall in Brighton, currently in North Dakota. So I was wondering if you guys have any general tips info about the area. Hope Brighton's great. A group of your yeah, sense. you went to... I went to, to university there. It's yeah. a really cool town. Lots does that does that mean he'll be studying at your university in Perhaps. Brighton? University Maybe? Sussex. I went to Maybe? Sussex, so, yeah. uh, but there's a University of Brighton yeah. as well. So oh, that. right, right, right. Um, nice town, though. Yeah, great. It's, it, it's got loads and loads of great shops, great restaurants. It's got the beach, which is wonderful. Uh, in autumn, it might be a bit cold in the fall, um, but there's there's so much to do and yeah. you know great bars and yeah, really beautiful, quite trendy. Yeah, yeah. it's very it's yeah, you cool. have a good time. Uh, there's a loading bar in Brighton as well. There oh. is also a loading bar. Yes, our our, uh, our usual live stream host uh, loading bar has a, a, a place just on the beach. Yeah, which yeah. I've not visited yet, but it looks amazing. Well, we should go there in the summer when they yep. open it out onto the beach. Yes, yeah. It's yeah. called Sea Side Quest, but it's Sea colon, colon backslash Side Quest. So it's very it's clever. Yeah. Commitment. Uh, yeah. TCAP says, I actually get to watch one of these live due to time zone difference. So yeah, we, we might be getting people here who, <laughs> who we haven't wouldn't seen ordinarily. Before. Hey, yeah. welcome. Cool. First stream. Uh, what in-game location would host the best gaming conference? Ooh, that's a good Ooh. question. Game, oh, what do you need 
need this oh, like the citadel. citadel. Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, course. so it would be like... The meeting point for the entire galaxy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, and it would be on the inside of the kind of... Uh, the cylindrical kind yeah, of strip. Yeah, yeah. The, the presidium. Yeah, yeah, because that's not the presidium, that's it. Yeah. So it's not, because the citadel is huge, 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 mm. huge. But the, the most important part is the, that, that bit. Yeah. And then afterwards, we can all go to like a banging nightclub yeah. because there's tons of them on the <laughs> yeah. citadel. Yeah. Uh, Valkyrie Effie says if you guys ever do Steel City Con in Pittsburgh, I could bring Kitty Beatty to meet her hero. Sounds Jane. Steel badass. City Con. Yeah. I don't know what it's about, yeah. but it sounds great. Yeah. But sti- I assume I mean, it's like a Comic Con. Yeah. Yeah. Like Pittsburgh is Steel City. Yes, yeah. Yeah. I know, yeah, yeah, but it's just Steel City Con sounds yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Mason Woods asks, what's everyone's favourite drink? Uh, the boozy drink? Or? Yeah, I, it doesn't say. Non-boozy is probably tea. Diet Coke. Um, I like an exotic isotope of Diet Coke. Yeah. Oh, they've got, um, oh, what have they got over here? Orange, Orange, Orange vanilla. vanilla. That got is a crime. Why, why, why would you ruin, why would you ruin vanilla Coke it's with delicious. Orange? It's like someone melted it's a delicious. dreamsicle in yeah. a Diet oh, Coke. It's real. And it's exactly yeah. as delicious as that um, sounds. Boozy, uh, I think my favourite beer is Leffe, which is a Belgian beer, it's about 6%, so drink it in moderation, but it's delicious. Uh, and cocktail-wise, I like a Singapore sling, that's my favourite. In case you're ever buying like a Yeah, I mean, feel free to. <laughs> uh, new member, welcome Justin M. Hey Justin, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Uh, Fatboy8683 PSN. <laughs> you know this isn't Good. PSN. <laughs> it says, it's my first stream. I just wanted to say you're my favourite YouTubers and I love the channel. Oh. Thank you so much for joining welcome. us. Welcome. That's great. Um, Thank you. Th- thanks for catching yeah. the stream. Oh, Matthias Silman with a correction. ASD, uh, even, or autism. But for some reason, YouTube blocks that word. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Okay. I oh, see. YouTube blocks that word. Huh. Yeah, that's strange. Huh. Uh, huh. Well, um, yeah, best of luck with managing that. That's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be challenging. But yeah, um, shout out to you, yeah. Matthias. Hope we can help. In yeah, we're here for you. Like, yeah. if it all gets a bit much, come hang out with us on live streams, basically. Yeah. A donation from David DT. Thank you very much. And Nick Jeffrey Thank you. says, next time you go to an overseas show, I insist that you smuggle <laughs> me along in your luggage. Me and my new t-shirt. We'll see you next week. Nice. Mm. I assume that's one of our t-shirts. You insist. Or just... <laughs> <laughs> it's a Red Dead reference. It's right. the, the new t-shirt so. is just a plain t-shirt. Plain white t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a new t-shirt and everyone's going to see it. Uh, George Edwards says, do you think you'll ever come to MCM Manchester? Yes. That seems know, maybe. plausible. But yeah, it seems possible. Seems, yeah, seems likely. I mean, we did uh, MCM Birmingham, yep. and yeah. uh, it went people pretty showed well. Up. Yeah. So and as long as people keep showing up, probably there's a chance we That's can come true, to That's true, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If, any, if, it, if we, any time no one turns yeah, up, that, that will like, jeopardise the, yeah. the future of <laughs> live yeah, shows. Yeah, so as long as yeah. you guys keep showing up. Uh, Jay Palmer says, hey guys, I've been watching you since almost the beginning. 2014. Wow. Uh, you guys need to do PAX West so I can attend, spend some time in the beautiful Northwest. I would love we to. We would that. like to do PAX yeah, West. Yeah, I feel uh, that the Northwest is really calling us of late. Mm, like, yeah. yeah. Um, I can't believe, also speaking of uh, since 2014, which is. Five yeah, years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the channel's been around for like six, seven years. We started in 2012. Mid, yeah. Mid 2012. I find that so weird. Yeah. Like, really weird. It's the longest job I've ever well, held. I know, <laughs> and it, it doesn't feel like anyone's longest job ever should be YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. It feels like no one should have been working on YouTube for more than a year, yeah. two years tops. Yeah. So. I think the Unsigned Xbox channel was actually... Um, oh, it looks made, like it was made It was made, made in, in 2009, 2009 by someone else who mm-hmm. didn't put any videos up, and then we were like, can we have that name? And so YouTube gave it to us, but it looks like we started in 2012. Yeah. Oh. But like 2012 was Maybe our one first day we'll video. meet the, orig- the originator of Outside yeah. Xbox. Like our nemesis. Yeah. <laughs> like coming in like a giant robot suit and kick the door in and try and kill us. Hey, see, SEAL Team Rick is here yeah. saying, Andy and Mike mentioned in a previous stream they'd been to Wisconsin. I was just wondering what brought you here. Mm, well, you have to say? <laughs> yeah, no, I can. Yeah. Uh, Black Ops what, mission. What brought me there was... I just uh, wanted to see the bronze ones. That's, <laughs> That's the only reason, yeah. Uh, I was there to see uh, three games, one of which was Wolfenstein, but like when they rebooted it. Uh, oh, yeah. One of which was uh, really awesome Singularity. Do you remember that? Oh, Singularity. Yes. Yeah, with yeah. the time oh, manipulation. That was, that was like yeah. a real fun, like B movie kind of game. And uh, Xbox Oranges Wolverine. Oh. Uh, Xbox X Men oranges. oranges. Again, another like kind X-Men of fun B tier yeah, like game, that. right? Yeah, yeah. So they were all made by Raven, um, yeah. who are based in Wisconsin, Madison huh. sort of place. Huh. And I was over there covering them for uh, official Xbox magazine. The editor of which is over there, I can, or the former editor. Is behind is the there. camera. The guy who right? sent me to Wisconsin is yeah. sitting yeah. over there. <laughs> so uh, that, you've got him to thank. I've got a lot of friends <laughs> who play for the uh, London Roller Girls Roller Derby team. Sticker, wait, this side. Uh, there. Uh, and they were playing a Roller Derby tournament in uh, Milwaukee. Hmm. So I went out to watch. Um, oh, so you were, you were separately in Wisconsin? You, you guys? Yeah, yeah we, we, went, went we went there in the same time. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay. 
Uh, Evan Sheeran uh, donates. Thank you very much. Thanks, Evan. Yay. And also says, one of my favourite esoteric series is the Stalker series. Are yes. any of you fans and do you think it deserves a remake? Yes. Uh, I believe they've just announced Stalker 2. Like, I saw that on Twitter. Wait, what, today? No, yeah, like, in the last 24 hours. Oh, wow. Uh, Sounds feasible. There was a, I saw a logo. That's all I've seen so far. Yeah. Uh, so maybe not a remake, but uh, a sequel yeah, yeah. would be good. Kind of in the way that the, the, the Metro, the recent Metro sequel, feels mm. more kind of accessible and feels like it's yeah. reached out to a more kind of mainstream audience. Maybe Stalker go, for that go the same way. Yeah. Uh, but it's amaz- amazingly bleak, and if you've got any interest in the, the real sort of Chernobyl exclusion mm. zone and, and how mm. sort of overgrown and, you know, reclaimed by nature it is, mm. Uh, stalker games allow you to wander around looking at it without getting a terrible, terrible dose of radiation. Speaking of amazingly bleak, have you seen that uh, Pathologic 2? Pathologic 2 is, is on the show floor. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I haven't had a chance to play it, but it's coming out in May, I think. Yeah, it's quite, in, quite soon. Um, yeah. On PC. Yeah, so if you love bleak stuff. And I do. <laughs> um, yeah, Pathologic 2 will be really good fun. Yeah. We'll either play it. Um, I actually kickstarted that. I oh. started so we've too. got Mike to thank. So we're getting an Xbox code at some point from that. Nice. Um, so we should play that. Maybe yeah. it'll make it to Xbox in time for yeah. stream. We've occasionally written about Pathologic for, mm. for various videos on the channel. It's very or idiotic and graphic. I, I feel like maybe Mike has written about it and then and then I've been trying to source footage about it. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, I I have no idea what's I've happening. I literally no yeah, idea. Yeah, because it was all the um, yeah, all the guys in the bird masks and stuff, and you were like, what? Are these I mean, the that, guys? that is almost the yeah. most graspable thing yeah, about it. Yeah. Like, what's go- you go into a building and there's like weird hive. Yeah, pop, so pods, yeah. In, the, in the first game, the, the, it's like a mad fever dream. Yeah, basically, there's a plague that's hit right. the town, but it's infecting the town itself, okay. as if the town is like a living organism. Okay. It's like real weird stuff, but yeah. it's great. Uh, Vixen Quinn says, Thank you guys for the awesome content you produce, and I know it means so much to so many. Any indie game recommendations? Fez. Is great. Yeah. Are uh, we going I, all over, like the history? Yeah, the entire history of indie games. Okay. Uh, Super, Super Meat Night Boy. in the Woods. Yeah. Um, they've got After Party, that game that we were talking about. Oh video, yeah. Um, down we the could, I mean, we haven't here. played it yet. So no, but I want to check it out. We yeah. did a video recently about interesting upcoming indie Smaller games. Smaller games. Yeah. Oh, that's true. So, so check it out. It's on the yeah, channel. I want to check that out. Well, oh, speaking of yeah. um, next week at EGX Res, uh, Cake Bash is going to be there. Nice. Yeah, yeah, Cake Bash. Cake Bash we mentioned that in the video, so we should play some of that. Uh, Benjamin McRae says, "I've been raising a kid on OX for almost two years now. Oh. My wife and I literally watched old Xmas challenge vids in the delivery room, and we've had you up on the TV no. since. Wow, that's science. amazing. Oh. We'll let you know how it goes. Oh, okay. <laughs> So that okay. baby's first YouTube video was uh, probably an Ox video yeah. then, when All right. it, as we, he was born. I, uh, outside Xbox Industries accept no responsibility for any <laughs> child raised in the US. They're based in the US, so I'm hoping that the child is going to be raised with an English accent, even though they're not... That would be good. Uh, yeah. An inexplicable English accent. That would be really good, and they'll sound so sophisticated. Uh, Adrianicus127 <laughs> says, love you guys, if you'd like someone to paint some minis for you, I'd be more than happy to. I'm like a car, mini car. services are yours regardless. Like miniatures, yeah. 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 right? Okay. Yeah, like D&D miniatures. Uh, Cool. I tried that like once or twice when I was a kid and I'm just far too ham-fisted. Johnny's good at it. Johnny's yeah, Johnny's, Johnny's incredible. Johnny's incredible. I think Johnny finds it quite calming as a sort mm. of, you know, because um, I think Johnny's talked quite openly about sort of mental health things and I think he finds the, the sort yeah. of painting miniatures as a very calming, sort of soothing thing. It'll so. clear your mind and yeah. really focus. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, it's like, like painting miniature portraits, you know, mm, when someone uses yeah. a single hair to draw. But when you see it like with all the shading and everything, it's yeah. really, yeah. really yeah. impressive. Yeah, 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 uh, Firecrow100 yeah. says, did Luke get you guys into Puff? Has he heard the new songs yet? If so, what does he think? What do you guys think of them? I haven't heard any Puff. Luke was in a Puff music know. video. Yeah, 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 exactly. Luke, yeah, Luke obviously has heard the new stuff because he, I think he's in their most recent yeah. music video playing the piano. So it's a really good idea for a video. It's like, here are the chords and the words mm. to our new song, but you, you play it do the way cover. you think like it should be played yeah. um, without having heard the actual song. I think we said at the time, like a sort of tribute to that feeder video. Yeah, oh, just today, yeah. 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 That's what, cool. What a great video. I might, I might do my own version of that having not heard the song um, just to see what it sounds like. Oh. I think it's a really interesting experiment. It is, mm. yeah. Uh, the Castaway DC says, looking forward to seeing you at Res again. Last year I was jet lagged as I just got back from Vietnam, but I guess it's your turn this year. That's true. <laughs> That's yeah, we true. will be just about shaking off the jet lag. Oh no, then. I didn't even thought about that because jet lag is worse when you go from uh, Yeah, it's brutal East. going from oh, here to, but no. we're East Coast, so it's only like four yeah, or five hours. It's not like, right. it's not like coming from LA. Yeah, where it's like, and it's not until Thursday, so yeah, we've got we'll time okay. to like re- Let's just really like set up a really good schedule of nap times <laughs> over the next week. Yeah, just uh, mandatory nap eat times. clean, sleep regularly, we'll be fine. Yeah, nap yeah. often. Yeah. yeah, eat clean, sleep dirty. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Reckless Rex says... Can that be the new t-shirt? <laughs> yeah. 
Breakfast Rake says, I can't go to res either, but I feel a bit better about it because Lazy Jane said she'd represent me in the meet and greets. Come to Pax Unplugged, though, please, so I can also meet you 100% IRL. Yeah, yeah. Like Pax Unplugged, that'd be cool. Wait, I'm not, you can't see this. All right. 100% IRL. Must oh, yeah. That's what it says. We have a t shirt. Pax Unplugged, yes, I am fully behind that mm. idea. Uh, but also, someone make a mental note of eat, clean, sleep, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta remember that. <laughs> someone bookmark that. Uh, Nev the Drunk says, love the whole Outside Xbox crew even more than the Inside Xbox days. Love you all. Was thinking about the 360 days and got me thinking, what happened to your old co-host, Andy? Did you kill him? You did. Uh, I did not kill you him. You did. <laughs> My lawyer no. needs me to state. Yeah. Uh, no, clearly he, he he's still alive. He runs a video production company mm -hmm. in London, but I don't think he does any uh, like public facing stuff anymore. Probably. He was presenting a show on Challenge yeah. TV. For and a he's while. still somewhat in the games in industry space, but his yeah. video company makes uh, work for clients and not all. Yeah, they do like it's also PlayStation. Yeah, motorsport yeah. stuff as well. Ah. Um, Finrod Finra says, hey guys, my horse just died in RDR2. Any good name suggestions for my new one? Oh, what, I'm so sorry. Mm. Yeah, your horse Maybe yeah. what the old one was then, 2.0. Yeah. <laughs> it's not very creative, but it's fun. Yeah. Uh, horse Wayne? names. What, what, like, do we want pun horse names or do we want like... I think that's probably the suggestion. Oh. Yeah, that's what they're after. I really like the... Um, so everyone's... J. Horse. Edgar Hoofer. That's yeah, really I mean, that's <laughs> I, Well, I was about to go off on one about how, you know, the gang in, in RDR2... Like they name their horses various mm. things, and so they're really cool. Some of them are like classical references, mm. and some of them are just fun names. And None oh, of what's them the are one where there. Arthur is like? Um, oh, Hosea says to Hosea. Hosea. Hosea, sorry, says to Arthur like, "When are you going to get get a new better horse?" Oh yeah. And Arthur's like, "Oh, I miss Bodicea. Bodicea, what a great name for a horse! Mm. Yeah." And so they've all got cool names. Yeah. But um, oh, I called one of my horses Juno. That, that felt like a, like a good, good class, like in the same vein as Bodice here. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Juno, Jupiter. Uh, who is Atlas 802 says, what do you guys do to wind down? I imagine video game fatigue is pretty strong with games media. I think the great thing about what we do is that it, video games are designed to be fun. So they're always kind of fun. So I think we still play a fair amount of video games, even, yeah. even to unwind. Um, but I think, I don't watch a ton of video game YouTube because we make it. So I watch a lot of car YouTube stuff. Um, and, mm. and fantasize mm. about having a sports car. Mm. <laughs> Another sports car. <laughs> the, the, the only, only drawback, and I, there's only one single drawback of video games, is that you can't eat while you're playing them. Not really. You're not trying hard enough. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's when I watch Netflix or Net something. Bad Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. Bad Netflix, yeah. It's, yeah I, I enjoy the, the low pressure, well, the low pressure vibe of watching something that you know is going to be bad. Yeah. Because if you watch something you think is going to be good and then you don't enjoy it, you're like, maybe it's me. Or this leads maybe so I'm perfectly. just disappointed mm. that it wasn't as good as it should have been. This leads so perfectly into this next question, which mm. is from Julian Mitchell, who says, Love you guys, what's your favourite bad movie? Shark Attack 3 Megalodon, <laughs> starring John Barrowman. That came so easy. It's so, it's, so the, like, not to get too tech into bad movies, but the problem with bad movies is when they're boring. Yeah. Like, if a bad movie is boring, then it just, it's tedious. But if a bad movie is, like, consistently, hilariously bad, which Shark Attack mm. 3 Megalodon is, mm. then it's brilliant, and it's more entertaining than an extremely yeah. well-written comedy. Um, and that film is that. Troll 2. Troll 2 is pretty movie. hilarious. Yeah, that's, uh, um, there's a new one I want to see called Jurassic Galaxy. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we watched that Jurassic that, yeah. Games film, yeah, which was, like, like the Hunger Games, games of Jurassic dinosaurs, Park. This right. one's, like, a, they crash onto a planet, and it's full of dinosaurs. It looks so bad. I saw the DVD in the supermarket, wow. and I should have picked it up. Oh man, I don't, I don't really have a favourite favourite like bad movie because for me it's, the point is that they're so throwaway that you can immediately forget mm. them and yeah. Uh, Anthony, I don't remember any of them. <laughs> Anthony Quan is here saying favourite brand for tea. I really enjoy Barry's, which I believe is Irish. Yorkshire tea. Yorkshire, Yorkshire tea Yorkshire. is good for Yorkshire a strong gold. cup of tea. Yeah, that's. I, I do like a pyramid solid. bag though. PG mm. tips for the pyramid bag. I when they start. I can't remember when they started doing pyramid bags. Everyone was like, "What a gimmick! Yeah. No one needs a pyramidal bag." Uh, but yeah, Yorkshire gold. That's a good one. Shout okay. Out. Uh, Call Obsidian says some wiki channels that have finished Sekiro multiple times they've slept even less than you I'm even more scared of Eldritch Blast after last night mm. yeah, really? Blast. Mm. yeah Eldritch Blast is it did, yeah, it did it made some real it made a real mess last night <laughs> you'll see yeah. if you haven't seen it you'll yeah. see uh, also asks hyped for Bill and Ted 3 I am Anything yes. with Keanu Reeves, basically. Yes, although it's weird. It, it is so weird. I, I want to have a faith that they'll they'll find a way to do it that's kind of knowing. And yes. Yeah, I'm sure they will. And like, yeah, fun and funny and knowing, not 
deeply tragic. I guess, you know, like the tragedy of yeah. age. And but what, what, yeah, and what, what I'm interested in is, like, obviously the whole plot of, like, Bill and Ted was that their music would, like, save the world and turn into, like, oh, into no. a utopian, futuristic yeah. and thing. And yet here we are in the darkest timeline. And Bill I'm, and hope, I'm sort of hoping it is the darkest timeline. And well, the what's, the future, and what's the future year in Bill and Ted? Like, I don't know. Is I it like 20? It's probably like I'm going to look it up right now. The future year in Bill and Ted, let's find out what that is. Yeah. But they come back at the end of Bogus Journey, don't yeah. they? And like, Bill's got the big ZZ top beard and like, yeah. yeah um, oh, don't they have like little babies? Yeah, yeah. they have little, Aww. this is yeah. little, Aww. like, Aww. little, 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 little Ted. Such good dads. Uh, okay, what year is... Um, you hmm. should have Googled It's more in Bogus Journey, isn't it? That they did the futuristic stuff, is it? Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey, if anyone knows. Just search what year, what's the future year. I did, I did. All right, fair Maybe they don't... Maybe they don't put, put probably a sensibly. They don't put a. That was co- quite. It just says the future. Of, that was very yeah. forward thinking of them. Just says the future. If they chosen a number, it would have been twenty fourteen. Because they've been dead for a while, right? In that, because there's statues of them and they're not actually there, are they? Oh, that's I true. Thought, they're like they? kind of cyanic. So. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah maybe that's yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Well, we've got to well. the bottom of that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Welcome I'm to looking forward to. It. Is it the same director? I don't know. I'm not sure. I guess that's. I don't. I don't know whether it is. But I'll watch it. Of course. In principle. Yeah, I can't. I'm excited. Mm. Welcome to new member Pixelated Polar Bear. Thank hey. you for joining us. Um, An evocative name. Agent Santa 47 says, I'm doing better, thank you. I'll take wiki editing breaks to work on my Oxventure fanfic. I don't okay. know if you can call that a break. That's not really a break, is it? Yeah. <laughs> it's just the same thing, but a different format of writing. Yeah, that's just alt tabbing into another part of your life that's also work. <laughs> uh, just Know Yes says, Hi guys from Sweden, Mike, have you seen F1 show on Netflix? And what did you think? What? Uh, yes, what there's, a new, there's a new documentary series about Formula One called F1 Drive to Survive. Uh, I've seen the um, I've seen the first episode. <laughs> That's amazing. Yes, man. Um, I've seen the first You've episode. You've been chased by very <laughs> <Yeah>. fast dinosaur. <laughs> um, I've seen the first episode. Uh, it was pretty funny. Yes, all the stuff with Gunter Steiner was was hilarious. Oh. Uh, so he's a real character. Cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing more of it. Oh. Apparently, it, it gets even better as it goes on. So. Oh. oh. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just wondered how long we've been going. Oh. I don't know. Actually, I can. I, let me check because I can uh, find I out. Can, I thought it would say, but I, can it I tweeted. 56 minutes. Ah, yeah. So do we want to wrap it up in four minutes? What do you reckon? Uh, we've still got a lot of comments to get through, but okay. I mean, we can just try and... Let's do, like, quick fire. Okay, okay. okay. all right, quick fire. Uh, okay. All right, yeah. each, each person takes, so dot, takes the answer. Dot JPEG says, if you could have dinner with three video game characters, who would they be? Also, thanks for your infinite good mood and the great vids. You're the best. All right, one each. Three. Commander Shepard. Uh, GLaDOS. Oh, my God, you took Commander Shepard. I can't believe you did. Yeah, but um, your Commander Shepard's different because yours is a lady. Mm. So two Commander Shepherds and GLaDOS. Oh, fine. Yeah, right, okay. <laughs> All right, welcome uh, Master Sanic 17 new member. Hey, hey welcome. Hey. Uh, the Jaguar 1983 says, Good day from Oz. I just beat Soul Calibur 6 Arcade mode on Legendary nice. last night. What games have you beaten on the hardest difficulty? Oh, Max Payne 2. Because, because, you got a different ending, coming back around to the idea of a different ending, wow. you got a different ending in Max Payne 2 if you finished it on, I think it was the hardest difficulty, which I can't remember what it was called, but um, it was an ending in which, like, Mona Sachs, the, the love interest, yeah. doesn't die, and I'm like, now kiss! Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I will play this game on and the hardest difficulty. you didn't have YouTube to just look it up. Yes. Yeah. You're right! <laughs> You're up right! Uh, See, if, if Max Payne 2 came out today, I would have just looked up the ending on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Random username for Chris huh. says, best part of the trip besides Ellen's puns. Um, that lobster roll was pretty good. <laughs> I know, walking the Freedom Trail was great. I've uh, wanted to do that for a while. I yeah. really enjoyed it. Uh, our meet and greet was really good fun. Mm. Yeah, well, obviously that as well. I mean, you look like a real hero. <laughs> yeah, mate, you look bad yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> pretty meeting yeah. the people. I was meeting and greeting American <laughs> yeah. history. Uh, donation from KP, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Mr. UK Raider says, hey, Mike, Jane and Andy, how are you liking Boston? Everything you expected it would be. Yeah, I don't really know what I expected mm. from Boston, but it's a beautiful city and everyone's yeah. really friendly and cool. We had a, an amazing conversation with our cab driver on the way in today. It was just nice. like a... Yeah, really nice chill yeah. conversation, actually. Um, yeah. I've checked off a bunch of the things that I kind of wanted to do and see in a really, like, condensed mm. trip. Uh, still haven't had any beans. We're going to take a bit of time or tomorrow, donut. so beans, beans will happen, beans I'm sure. Donut. Beans and yeah. donuts. Uh, Nick Rice donates, thank you very thank much. Thank you, Nick. That's awesome. Uh, we've got a new member, Vinnie Thompson1. Hey, Vinnie. Hey. Mason Wood says if you could have any superpower, what would you want? Uh, Flying. Teleportation. I think I'm on record as saying it's, it's telekinesis, because you can use telekinesis to self-levitate. So yeah, you get flying for free. Yeah, yeah. It's like two for the price. But of one. probably flying standing up, and I want to be like like that. No, you can support yourself in any posture you want with enough telekinesis. All right, I'll have Jane's telekinesis. <laughs> then. Uh, Ace of Space donates. Thank you very much. Thanks, thank and you. Kathy Ed says I wasn't exactly raised on Oxbox, but thanks to you guys, I talk more like a Brit than an American. Nice, excellent. British nice. swearing. That's that's the key. Oh yeah. 
got, uh, got some good swears. <laughs> Nathan Swayton says, all this mention of Manchester in the comments throws me for a loop because I live in Tennessee and keep forgetting about the OG uh, Manchester. Manchester, the Tennessee. OG Manchester. I uh, have a friend uh, called Sam Phillip who writes for Top Gear, uh, and he did... They were trying to think of something to do with the new Ford Focus or whatever it was, and so he went to all the places in America called Essex. He did a road trip. Because they used and to build... lots of places called Essex? Yeah, yeah. tons of them. Really? Yeah, there's probably ton of, a ton of Manchesters. There's loads of, oh, like, yeah. Bristols. There's, like... There's so many repeated... Yeah, yeah, yeah. ...British names, sure. basically. yeah. Um, uh, Ob- Obadir Pine, I think mm-hmm. that is. So they're headed to London in a few weeks. I'll only be there for a few days. Any suggestions oh, for no. what I should do? Oh, no, a few days. Uh, you should go and have a pint in Ye Old Cheshire Cheese. Which yeah, is the oldest pub in London. Uh, just off Fleet Street, and it's... They made it... Built it in 1667, and it's pretty much the same now as if it If you want, like, then. the big hitter museum... Probably go to the Natural History Museum because it's a beautiful cool. building and it's got you know cool dinosaurs. Probably good stuff. Or the Tate Modern is like a great art gallery to go to. And a cool building, yeah. So I, I think if, if you need to maximise your time, yep. then uh, walk the South Bank, which is where the Tate Modern. Oh yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, you get, yeah, 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 yeah. Get the yeah. shoes to like true. Um, dense with. Go to London stuff. Bridge and then walk through Borough Market and then up the South Bank. Oh, yeah. Um, Food in Borough Market. Yeah. Tate Modern. Then you go past yeah Shakespeare's Globe Unless it's and all raining. that stuff. <laughs> Um, in which case, stay indoors. Velcro Yuffie says, I went to the kitchen to give the kitty some chicken, and BT refused to leave the computer while Jane is on. I had to oh bring the God. stream up on my phone so she can get the kitchen. Man. That cat has yeah. <laughs> an obsession. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I wish I'd met any cat IRL that liked me as much as that cat. <laughs> yeah, normally like they're that. like, mm. yeah. uh, Doug Snyder says, I have two video ideas. Seven most brutal hitman kills would get immediately demonetized. Yeah. <laughs> and seven most over the top funniest hitman kills. Possibly same problem. Probably also. But no, the funniest one. Funniest ones, would be good. Yeah, that would yeah. be good. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did I one that was like, um, what happens next in Hitman? Oh, yeah, that guess was great. what yeah. comes next. If you, yeah, if you have a look on the channel for our Hitman quiz, it was really Guess what comes funny. next, yeah. There's, there's yeah. some great yeah. stuff in there. Um, I want to do a video on like the, the, the seven careers that Agent 47 would unexpectedly flourish Like, he's an amazing... Portrait like, painter. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. got yeah. amazing upper body strength, so yeah. some sort of, I don't know... Free climber. Free climber, yeah, yeah. yeah. free soloist. Um, Garrett Gorham says, uh, hey guys, any opinions on Borderlands 3? We talked about this earlier yep. in the stream, actually. Um, I Looking think we're all to broadly it. excited. We're I'm for it. Sure. Yes, we are for Borderlands In favour of. Um, cool. Nina says, guys, pro jet lag tips. Stay awake as late as you normally would. Local time of the place you're arriving at. You'll have one really long day and probably be very tired, but no jet lag. After the first I'm sure well, it's doing... easy when you say it, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sleepy and I want to sleep. No, you're right. We did actually do a pretty good job of staying awake. Yeah. I think we're pretty much up to date and yeah. we're about an hour. So Sweet. It's a tight 60 minutes. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, everyone, for joining us for this impromptu PAX Q&A yeah. Yeah. First session. ever. Uh, yeah, let us know if you enjoyed this sort of format I guess yeah. um, because Maybe. we'd like to do more of these sorts yeah. of things from other events uh, just to sort of give you guys a look at what we get up to mm-hmm. and answer those things. questions and in an efficient way burning questions that you have about um, superpowers and things of that nature <laughs> but yeah um, we are going to go off and do some more packs now. yeah so yeah thanks for watching and show of the week will be going up uh, shortly we just need to like write all the words that go under it Cool. That show of the week coming very very soon and it's got more pack stuff in it actually so mm. if you like packs we've got all the packs that yeah. you can packs yeah <laughs> you've got the packs in your packs cool right I'm going to go and lunge over at the button to stop right. Mike's going to go lunge bye we're everyone gonna, we're going to have wait until you finish lunging